Well guys, spring is here and most of the snow is melted in most of the northern hemisphere. We had 12 great entries to the snowbird contest this time. As was hoped, there was a great variety in the ingenuity and creativity of the snow landing skis and hull fuselage, twin motor, single motor, high wing, and low wings. Now comes the hard part where Rob McKenzie and I have to choose a winner. We'd really like your input in the comments below if you want to tell us which plane or planes are your favorites. The winner, of course, gets a $75 store credit from tapebrothers.com so they can get some cool tape and also a $75 cash prize provided by Rob McKenzie of EA Canada. So let's go ahead and have a look at the entries. Click on the name of each plane to see the original full-length video. First up is the Northwind RC Snowplane by Mountain Snowflyer in Alaska. It has a boat hull-like fuselage and wing skis. From Canada, there's the XA Snowbird entry by Jeb Noor. This one's especially cool because it uses the flight test proprietary power pod that fits inside, so it's actually a swappable in its own unique way. I appreciate the very detailed build video on this one. Number three is That's No Goose 2 by Behilberg. It's a twin motor that's all disassemblable, including the motor pods and skis. This snowbird is by Francois Haha Foam Board in Canada. I have to think this plane takes advantage of some ground effect due to the low wing. It is also extremely nimble on the ground. The Snow Woob Tube by Tad Powell missed the competition this year as there was no snow in New Jersey during the competition. Sorry man. This very professional looking twin boom twin motor was built by Juliet Papa in Germany. Wasn't a lot of snow there at the time, but it worked well with what it had. The Snowmad was built by G Tripe in Ontario, Canada. This is a great scale looking plane with some really robust skis on both the fuselage and the wings. This snowbird is by Patrick Auger, also of Canada. The construction doesn't follow the Experimental Airlines technique, so it's not eligible for the contest, but it is one really slick airplane. Showing his Canadian pride is Build RC Foamies with this creation. This plane was limited to taxi test only, so it's not eligible for the contest. And representing the real Canadian Air Force Snowbird Exhibition Team is the Armin Air Sled by RC Prairie Flyer, also of Canada. This 
plane completely embraces every aspect of operating from the snow. RC planes are fun, built this classic noob tube with skis. It proves to operate quite ably off the snow with its twin skis. And built by our most southerly located builder, our perennial favorite Mr. CC Mountain Hill is the Snow Angel from Las Vegas, Nevada. He built this gorgeous twin motor plane and had to drive, I'm pretty sure, a good distance up to the mountains only to find that the electronics were incompatible with the cold. Tragically, he only got one takeoff and one kind of landing. Thanks to all the creative and diligent builders who took the time to build planes to enter the contest. And thanks for watching. Be sure to leave your comments below. We'll have the results out in a couple of weeks.